Jarrett Stidham, their rookie draftee, as uh, Simon gets the uh, congrats. Simon says, our football. Yeah, nice. We, I'll be happy to share that thought with you here in a second. Here comes Stidham, the rookie. Runs out of time. Showing some wheels now, gets to the outside. And picks up a first down in the process. So Stidham known more for his throwing ability. Went off and went running. Bad mistake. Easy, easy to blow out an ACL. Stidham play action. Goes underneath. Caught by Lacoste. And he's brought down by Andrew Adams. Inside the 10. Can get a first down. Jared Stidham. In the shotgun. Throws touchdown. Can't give up the inside. Too easy that time. Mike Ford couldn't get there in time. And Myers has his second touchdown reception. That's the same story, right? I mean, this is... And I don't know if he's expecting help. He shouldn't be expecting help. But when you're tight like that, you're lined up to come across the line of scrimmage. Got beat with a juke. He's given up the inside. And it's just pitch and catch. And Jarrett Stidham, that's a pass he'll remember for the rest of his life because that's his first touchdown pass, preseason albeit, in the NFL. Here comes Stidham. Throws short. Caught by Maurice Harris, who had a touchdown reception earlier in the ballgame. Do the side of the football. With the uh, 45, Stidham in that pocket. Now avoids trouble. Second time, he's done a good job using his feet. That's what you want to see from a young quarterback, Fred. So, recognizing man coverage, and it's as simple as this. Take your throwing lane, turn it into a running lane. Exactly what Stidham do. So, he gets to the uh, Lions' 46-yard line. Stidham again. Lots of time. Goes over the top corner. Inside the 20-yard line by Jacoby Myers, who's having himself a night. Uh, we got to go compete. You know, I mean, look, bottom line is we got to go play better and we got to have a better second half. You talk about how the preseason is all about individual player evaluation, situational football. What goes on their defense? They, they said, one thing was told me, they don't make mistakes. They don't beat themselves. So it's interesting how it's set up from the star players down to the backup players. Anthony Pittman, the Wayne Stater, made the tackle. A thrill for him to play for his hometown team. Here comes Stidham, open man, caught. Berrios getting to the 25-yard line. Andrew Adams brought him down. It's the same problem we saw in the first half, right, Fred? And, and TJ, you know this because you're going to learn the back end. When you have any type of man coverage, you cannot give up the inside. There's a free run to the inside because you don't know if you have help inside. And when you give up the inside, it makes it for an easier, shorter throw from quarterback to receiver. Doesn't hurt to have that size, does it? And the coverage ability. Communication. Mm. Here comes Stidham. Quick drop. Throws in the slot. Mm. And he's caught that time by Dontrell Inman, his first catch. CJ Moore brought him down. It's the same thing, right? This time. Inside, taken away. Inside, not taken away. So it's an easy pitch and catch. And you have to be able to understand when a wide receiver split is that far out, he's not running an out cut. He's got to come back in or run a go route or a takeoff route. Take away and pre-read or pre-read pre the snap. You're going to have those for life, man. Those are, those are friends that are going to last forever. Here comes Tim on the quick toss. Inman tries to get into the end zone. And he does for the touchdown. A lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage these guys are getting, and uh, the pass rush is certainly not helping them. So a 13-yard strike. All four touchdowns for New England have come through the air. Two by Hoyer, two by Stidham. Yeah, so see, that's a good job by New England's offensive line. That was a three-step drop. And so what you saw was the outside offensive lineman Cut the knees of the outside pass rusher. By cutting the knees, you force the hands to get down. You created a clear throwing lane. Inman in motion. Sit and throws to Brousset, the running back, with a two-point conversion. Yeah, he might have turned his head and actually might have got a pick. So like, like Chris says, you never know, man. It's a, it's a slippery slope. You've got to be careful. Then avoiding the sack. Throws underneath, and it is caught by Ryan Izzo. 
a five yard gain. Izzo played it Florida State. Okay, this is actually good pass protection. Eric Lee again has applied pressure. That's the second time that he's done so in this game. Not a lot of games going on. Third down and three. Easy pitch, wide open. Berrios gets the first down and more down to the five. Absolutely, season tickets are still on sale. It's the best way to best value to get uh, to see the team, and uh, I agree with your optimism. I think we're I think we're going to surprise some people this year and. Uh, the Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs, right? You're going to see them early on. And that's you're going to get a good test to find out how good this football team is early. Not to mention, you know, start to really matter in the, in the schedule. We'll get, uh, we'll get focused on uh, winning and uh, being competitive. And as what Chris said, and I agree, is one of the toughest divisions, if not the toughest division in the NFL. Snap that shoulder in, just like you're throwing a right hand, right hand cross. Listen to you. I learned that from Coach McKenzie. He taught, he's trying to coach me up. <laughs> Did him over the middle, has a man open. Patriots pick up the first down. Great point. There's there's always a handful. Sometimes more than a handful. Diving grab made on the Stidham throw. Stidham again. Complete this time inside the 30-yard line. Stidham looking relatively sharp here. That's tight end. That looks like Lance Kendrick's 83 because Matt Lacoste is also listed as 83 for New England. And I think he wore it in the first half when he got the holding penalty against Sharif Finch. So I think they've got a duplicate number like it's in college. And this is Lance Kendrick's, the former Green Bay Packer and Ram, making the play downfield before Durden can get him down. Info. Operator standing by, waiting for your call. Stidham nearly picked off. Instead, it's a complete pass to Brosette. Two yards away from being in Titans territory once again, and that's where they find themselves right now after that complete pass to Jacoby Myers. Yeah, that's not a lot of fun, but hopefully we'll, we'll get past that soon. I think so. Third and 11 for Stidham. The rookie out of Auburn picks up the first down using his wheels for Jarrett Stidham on the play action from his own end zone. Complete to Myers. It was a different played. game, Charles. <laughs> it was, really was a different game. You just cleared a few rooms for post game. Stidham, almost a little jump pass. And again, it's Jacoby Myers breaking a tackle and picking up the first down. And he's learning from some pretty good players in Woodyard and Rashad Evans. And that, first day on Brown. That time it's. Fresh set of downs for New England here. Wide open over the middle. Ryan Izzo, big tight end out of Florida State who spent last season on injured reserve. And you mentioned earlier Parker Hesse, number 49 for Tennessee. Remember, he was a defensive lineman at Iowa. And converting to tight end here, I see him out on defense now for Tennessee. Short pass from there you go. That's how you play it. Stidham to Harris. Get the numbers there for Stidham. Not bad. 11 and 16, over 150 yards. Another quick pass to Harris. Good pursuit. Eric Cotton, and that's just playing defensive end. So Hesse didn't get back out on the field to play some defense. That was on my that was my bad. To the air and caught. Jarrett Stidham with a beautiful ball. That's going to go in the books as a 23-yard touchdown pass. And it looked like that was Damon Patterson. And it was. You're right there, Dan. That's a beautifully thrown ball because it becomes a back shoulder play. And in the coverage there for Tennessee is Mike Jordan, and he never sees the football. And because he can't see the football on the back shoulder, that allowed Patterson to make the adjustment and go up and make the catch for the touchdown. It's a good, well-thrown football by Stidham. Complete over the middle to Myers. Myers trying to break a tackle. Takes a big pop from David Long. Third and six. 
That was Heron. Flush and Stidham out of the pocket, but there he is again, making it happen with his feet. And of course, speaking of titles, we'll see that opening night, Sunday night football. Patriots open the season at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Great AFC matchup. And uh, they had to make some room for banner number six. Drop it that night. Now they make some room in the lineup for Jared Stidham, who takes over for Tom Brady. Interesting that Stidham gets the calls to number two, and he throws it to Steven Anderson across the field. Forward Chief and Falcon. Now the second year in Carolina. <laughs> second half against Detroit. <laughs> second and 14 at the screen to Dorset. Good action. And there's a flag in Dorset. Is See, they're not going to let him drive it. I wonder what they really charge him. I know, hey, okay, the Patriots thing, we're trying to sell this thing, but. That's a good deal though. Seven bucks get the encore right there in Everett. Auburn in the fourth round, number 133. Drops back, firing out to the sideline. And again, Dorsett comes back on a busy night for him. Hand clap to a rough little hand movement there by Stidham. Sets up a third and 11. And again, he slides up once more to find Myers rolling short of the first down marker. But Go nonetheless, with a fourth down and short coming up, it's an interesting decision. You know, on the bottom side, here's Skipper. Good. Good stone with the hands right there. Again, Stidham, something that you've seen. It started in Detroit. His ability to sit in the pocket. Don't give that sort of away to the defense of the second. He got away with a Great low throw, throw and he makes oh. a perfect throw there to Myers who plucks it at midfield. All offensively. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Right, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Coach Belichick, I guess. Let's go back up to the broadcast booth, guys. Well, Skipper continues to play at right tackle. And Stidham. Another quick throw once again to Myers. It was the first down for New England. It made a play last week. Like, you're going to give him more opportunities here tonight? We'll see in the third and fourth quarter. Stidham again with a strike to Myers. And they'll pick up seven yards on that completion. Close to another first down for the Pats. Now it comes down as a completion. And this is a good catch by Myers. Why? Because the ball's high into the inside. You see him come back and pluck the football right there. Stidham probably like to have that throw back. For Josh Gordon, for everybody, to anybody else. Here's Stidham under some pressure. He's going to run to the near side. And Stidham angling to the sideline. He's wrestled down, pursued by Andre Smith. Training camp. He's returned it well tonight. There's another great throw by Stidham to Myers. Smooth. It's a nice ball. That's a silky sweet throw right there, man. Silk. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take a look at Jacoby Myers. Where's he at? He's top of your screen. It's just going to be a little speed out to the top. I don't know if the tight end was set. Ooh. You know what my defensive call would be? One what? double 16. Just, there you go. Boxing, <laughs> almost like a boxing one, right? One guy inside, one guy outside. Right in the bread basket, a little F under, and he dropped it. Would have walked in, man. Nice adjustment by Olszewski on the throw from Stidham. Okay. Can you can you throw a jersey on and play some tight end and some scout team? Game on Patterson. A slap from Jared Stidham and a first down for New England at the 25. I'll tell you what, that throw was right out of his hand, Chris clean and right in the numbers. Okay, where's he at? Patterson, he's the guy that caught the uh, game winner last week. So it's a clear out on the inside. It's just an under, underneath throw. This is something that's a bread and butter play for this Patriots offense. One guy clears, the other guy, it's almost like a natural rub. Stood him on the first and ten drop back, firing between a pair of defenders. And again, a strike delivered, this time to Lance Kendricks. He threaded that one to Kendricks, too, and took a shot sandwiched between a pair. Kendricks got to get up and keep playing. It's tough making clubs in the tub. He's got Nick in practice a little bit. Take a look behind Stidham. See what he's seeing. So, again, outside defender, inside defender. Good, accurate throw. We head to a timeout. Line of 14. Stidham over the middle for Davis. And he is dropped. At well, the 10. Nick? Well, Bob, you know, at the, at the end of the day, this is a business. There obviously is a big gap in experience, but not in ability. I, and I just think right now that you look back to other years. Stidham escapes to the sideline. Gordon conditionally reinstated a couple of weeks ago. Stidham firing to the sideline for Josh Gordon. A first down and more across midfield. Nice. Fans like seeing that. 
easy comeback. A little bit of pressure that Stidham feels in his feet here. And that's another good, strong throw by the, by the rookie. We'll take a look at it from behind right here. Good timing routes, a comeback. Ball's right there between a one and a zero where you want it. And this is where safeties and corners start to get uh oh From the top with a short motion. Jordan. Stidham had it. He's going to run it. Jared Stidham is spun down across the 40. All right, Edelman's in short motion right to left. Comes across the formation. Stidham could have checked it down to him, but that's a good job. Saw the backer. He had leverage. Now you want to get down. It's a good job not forcing that ball into a linebacker, just stuffing Julian oh. right there. And that's what you don't want. Yep. Knockout hit. Preseason game four. Did him from the gun. And a good throw to Edelman. A first down for New England. Ball came loose on he's the down. tackle, but he's down by contact. Oh, and Edelman's looking at his left hand. Oh, man. 20-yard completion to Julian Edelman. Uh, he's something to watch here. Edelman's looking at his left hand, but here he is on the left side, and he's going to go shake across the formation here. A little shake route. Stidham puts it on him, and boom. I think he lands on the hand that has been bugging him, and he immediately comes out of the game. Thomas now aligned with Gordon to the right. Stidham across the middle for Demarius Thomas. Spun down in the open field of the tackle made by Julian Love. Again, look at the throw. There you go. And to the sideline. Pass hauled in by Demarius Thomas with his second catch. Huh. It's Stidham in traffic. That's a contested catch again by Demarius Thomas. He wants that slam backside. Third time's a charm. Again, they're just combo routes. These are simple flat, slant, flat, slant. A lot of jersey tugging, too, and that's. I wonder. A good scene. Screen. And the screen set up for Brosset. Second and long, get back on track play. <laughs> Looks like uh, I think Froholt went down here. There's that. Always viewed Teddy as that guy, jack of all trades, who could do everything. Uh, third and 13, a lot of room for Stidham. He'll take advantage of it into a slide and another first down. There's your pressure up front. It's the, the delayed blitz, little game to the backside. It's good pocket presence right there. Look at this. Look at the slide up. There's the hole. A lot right of space open. tells you it's man to man. Man coverage. That's a killer against playing running quarterbacks, right? Let's see if Stenham recognizes. We got him. Going to buy some time with some pump fakes and then try to get to the sideline. Spun down by Goodson. Two and a half yards per attempt when targeting Gordon in 2018. Now Stenham going back down the right sideline. This time for Thomas. There it is. Makes the catch. <laughs> Touchdown, Patriots. That's what he does. What were we just talking about? His ability. To use his body downfield. Demarius Thomas, he's, he won't run every route in the book. But back shoulder fade stop and that bubble screen down the line of scrimmage. It's huge. Here he is. And it's all down the sideline. Vertical. Look at the quick feet off the Achilles. That's a good sign. And then he just slows it up. That's a guy that's done it time after time after time. What a guy like Peyton. Yeah, it gave me nightmares. No chance player. for a defender. <laughs> I mean, it's covered. It's just, here with the veterans, like, yeah, we know we're, we got a veteran crew. That's a nice catch by Gordon on the slant. That's what you want to see. Catch the ball and carry people, the size of it. Yeah. He's right here. Again, it's the slant. It's the cross right there. Quick out. Give it to him. But getting back to Van Noy here, he said, What's different this year is I like it. I love it. I, like I think it. it brings excitement to the college game. There are no stiffs down there. Stidham on the comeback. Again connects with Demarius Thomas. Oof. And I say oof because is this ball had enough on it. Now it wasn't one of Stidham's hardest throws that we've seen in four games. But it's a deep, it's again, it's that back shoulder. I'm gonna get going upfield, stop. But it's off the back foot by Stidham because he has a guy putting his hand right there in his face. But it's a strong enough throw to get it there. That's a deep out route. That's back. That's on me. Not, that's not it. 
Yep. 86. Pats are knocking on the door without flash. Well, three step. A throw to Demarius Thomas, however. And he makes the catch once again from Jared Stidham. They're finding a good history here. I, I mean, Demarius Thomas, looking at him again. Here he is at the bottom of your screen. Little Ben route outside. Ball's behind him, catches it. But I'm watching the feet. Is he favoring anything? Little quick steps at nope. the top of the route. Achilles looks good to me. And this is For the first and goal to go. The Pats spread it out. Give it. Stidham. Late. Give it. Throw it. There it is. Throws it. There you go. For Thomas. Touchdown, Patriots. All right. Take number 88. Put him on the bench. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> That'll help the receiver position. We'll get back talking about that as you do the groupings, but take into account what the defense is, but still good play by Stidham. Nothing there. It's got to be, when you're down and tight inside the 10, it's got to be one, two, three, and that ball's got to be out. But he scrambles, makes a play, and puts enough touch on it to where only his guy, Demarius Thomas, on a scramble play. Now, I say a scramble play. Why is that? He breaks containment. Thomas comes from all the way the other side of the field. He comes over and makes a play. That's a nice job by the veteran. It's one of the hardest plays to defend, a scrambling quarterback in the low red. Try to plaster the best you can. When I say plaster, you just find a receiver and try to stick on him. Pats are going to operate out of the bunch on a third and two. Flat design roll and a throw into the flat for Brosen. Flat left. It's easiest good. throw. It's a good conversion right there. You got Olszewski in the game now, too. So Gunnar Olszewski first playing minutes here. And we just haven't seen Braxton Berrios. It's good action right there. Flip it, give it to him, get the ball out in front. That's all you can say on that one. Good catch, good catch for back. Backs are showing they can catch the ball here in the preseason or not. We might throw it 60 times here tonight. And ousted him. Going to drop back and fire it down the middle for Olszewski. Got it again go. goes airborne. That's four more. Four more than where he should have been. Love that. Always hungry for more yards. I love it. And he and his teammates are going to hurry up in the no huddle. You only have one timeout left, so. Stidham again escapes. Yeah. Trying to get to the sideline. Toward no, no, but his own end line, not toward the other end line. I think what Rob's talking about is getting ear hold, too. You don't see a guy coming, and you can't brace for contact. Well, but the officials, though, this year, they've expanded the rule after Pittsburgh mm -hmm. in week one. Yeah, Miami, the Jets, and then Buffalo. It's imperative to get off to a good start in September. After the penalty on Gothier. Stidham goes to the flat. And Brosset is level back past the original line of scrimmage. Still effective, but Chris is trying to have one-on-one -on -one backside. When I look at Willie, even now, I'm like, how did I play the position he plays? He's huge. a freak. He's an arm so long. Oh, man, reach. With a sense of humor. Knocking them down to size. Why did it with a sense of humor? <laughs> as far as just rolling with an iron, roll with an iron fist, Tippett was the first man. <laughs> yeah, early when I came in, I'm just talking about veterans acting, you know, happy for young guys making plays like this kid right here. Jacob Meyer is galloping along the sideline before he's shoved down by Jonathan Anderson. They're well coached, deep on defense. Stidham just hit the hit that check down, man. Nice little drag route right to left. Impressive how every single year, there's no hangover. It's let's move on. Last year's over. Let's rebuild. Got new faces here. Old faces are still hungry. They still want to perform. And it Brady is out. They have just taken him out. And Jared Stidham, the rookie and a fourth round pick out of Auburn, is in. He is the 11th quarterback drafted by Bill Belichick as the coach of the Patriots. And on first and 10. It is caught with his first pass, and Philip Dorsett brought down by Harrison. Okay, Five in the secondary for the Jets, second, 17 for Stidham. He's got the running back, Burkhead, who is brought down by Frankie Louvu.